Hello, Huga Health here. So proper dosage for red light therapy is one of our most frequently asked questions. So let's chat about it. Determining the proper dosage for red light therapy involves considering factors such as the intensity of the light, the duration of exposure, and the specific needs of the individual. It's essential to note that recommended dosages provided here are estimates based on our devices and general guidelines. However, every individual's response to red light therapy may vary. Therefore, it's crucial to approach dosage with flexibility and mindfulness. Red light therapy can target a wide range of ailments, both superficial and internal. Understanding the distinction between the surface and internal treatments can help you tailor your red light therapy regimen to address specific health concerns effectively. So first we have surface treatments. These involve using red light therapy to target conditions that affect the outer layers of the body, such as the skin. Surface treatments may include addressing issues like wound healing, acne, wrinkles, skin conditions, the list goes on. The recommended sweet spot for dosing for a given treatment area is roughly between 3 to 10 joules per centimeter squared. So I'm going to chat about our three series of red light therapy panels. If you'd like the dosage for our specialized devices such as our DOT or Charge or Pod, please see their respected manuals included with the devices or in the footer of our website called Product Manuals, which I'll link below for you. For an HG series panel, treat from a distance of 18 inches away for about five minutes. For a pro series panel, treat from a distance of 18 inches away for about two to three minutes. For an ultra series panel, treat from a distance of 18 inches away for about two to three minutes. For the ultra 5400 panel, treat from a distance of 18 inches away for about two minutes. Next are the internal treatments. Internal treatments focus on conditions that extend beyond the surface and may involve deeper tissues or organs within the body. Example of internal treatments include addressing muscle recovery, joint and bone health, inflammation, improving circulation, thyroid care, supporting your overall cellular health, the list goes on. The given sweet spot for treatment area is between 10 to 50 joules per centimeter square, with some of the newest guidance moving to a higher end that ranges up to 60 joules per centimeter squared. Again, I'm going to say the recommendations for our panels. For an HG series panel, treat from a distance of 6 to 12 inches away for about 10 to 15 minutes. For a pro series panel, treat from a distance of 6 to 12 inches away for about 6 to 10 minutes. For an ultra series panel, treat from a distance of 6 to 12 inches away for about 5 to 10 minutes. For the Ultra 5400 panel, treat from a distance of 6 to 12 inches away for about 5 to 10 minutes. While dosage recommendations serve as a helpful starting point, the most crucial aspect is consistency. Establishing a regular routine and staying committed to your red light therapy sessions can yield optimal results over time. We recommend at least three to five times a week. You can treat daily, but no more than two times a day, spaced out morning and night. Pay attention to how your body responds to red light therapy. Experiment with the different dosages within the guidelines to find what feels right for you. If you experience any discomfort or adverse effects, adjust your dosage accordingly. While red light therapy offers numerous potential benefits, it's essential to remember that we are not medical professionals. And so for personalized guidance and best practices tailored to your individual health journey, we strongly recommend consulting with your doctor or healthcare professional. We hope to shed some light on any confusion when it comes to red light therapy and the dosage that you would need. We are trying to keep it as simple as we can. If you like what you saw, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment with any questions you have or any videos you'd like us to make in the future. And thanks for watching.